Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I have a jewelry jar unboxing for you guys. I'm really excited about this one. It's one I've kind of been holding back, but since everything is in upheaval around here because we're packing up and getting ready to move to Austin, I was like, I am busting into this one. I'm so excited. And apologies if you are waiting and we're getting notified about when I put the video out. Um, <laughs> as if we need more things going on. I was gonna do this a little bit later and then my car didn't start. And so if you're not here for a story, sorry, but then I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it at five. And then I had to switch it again because life, right? So we may have a, my mom's coming over to help me with my car and all that good stuff. So yeah, <laughs> right? at least it happened here. At least my car didn't start here at home and not when I'm on my way to Dallas this weekend to go speak about jewelry with Jason. So I'm excited about that. But this is the jar we're opening. Hello, everybody in the chat. If you guys are watching later, you can see the chat over here. Oh, good timing. Yeah, I know, right? Thanks, Jacob. Um, yes, yes, hello, hello, everybody. Oh, Joanne, are you gonna be in Dallas? Yay! I'm gonna warn you in advance. My butt's bigger than you think, and I'm a lot shyer in person, so. <laughs> It's different when it's me and the computer. There's not like a room full of people. Yeah, but the first one's probably gonna shock you. <laughs> it shocks me every time. Anyway, this is the jar we're gonna open today. Is that you, mom? Yeah. Okay, I, I, enjoy some pizza. I'll be there in a moment. <laughs> okay, um, so this is the one. And my number one rule is when you're buying a jewelry jar, make sure you see something in the jar that you think you can make your money back on. So when I picked up this jar, this one was $19.99 at the Goodwill. I saw there was some really cool, let's see, there's a little turtle. So I'm thinking he's gonna be about, you know, nine bucks or so. Um, there's a really cool orange, what I think is bangle, a bangle in there, which looks kind of like vintage, like it may be a reproduction, but it looks like kind of mod, funky. Um, and then let's see, what else was there? There was something else. There's another vintage looking pin right there next to the turtle. But let's just jump into it since mom's here. Okay, seriously, look at this, you guys. Look in my jar. Zero scissors. I reached over there to get my scissors. This is why I say every time I go to garage sales, thrift stores, whatever, if I find my scissors, I pick them up and I put them in my fancy, schmancy Harry Potter cauldron of pins. No scissors. Okay. No scissors. So we're gonna have to just chew this thing open. Okay, <laughs> it is a big one, right? Okay, I'm, I'm pulling the tape off of this. Heads are gonna roll. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't get into it. Um, okay. Hey boys, would you please go to our homeschool cart? And then run, I think I got it. I was gonna ask you to get me some scissors from our homeschool cart, but I think I got it. Um, why don't you go ahead, remember how to hold them safely. Yeah, okay, oh, I think I got it. Oh, no, that was just one layer. Sorry, I'm doing this in my lap because it is a big jar. He's going to get some scissors from the Goodwill Jewelry Jars prices have finally tumbled, Patty says. You may have to go look for some. Yes, and Patty, I'll tell you where I got this one too because you're in my area, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> because it's a secret. It's my secret place that I go get them now. So I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't want to tell everybody. <laughs> I would always steal my parents' scissors. Um, Kelsey says, thank you, James. I didn't say thank you when you handed those to me. As soon as I got that tape off, these bangles started tumbling out, and I already see some really cute stuff. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, I want to know. Okay, I'll tell you too, Debbie. I'll tell you what. I'll put it in jewelry lovers and sellers. Cause I know, I know you're in there, both of y'all. So <laughs> that way you guys will know. So if you're in jewelry lovers and sellers on Facebook, you'll find out. Okay, and it's not paid anymore, so you can join. All right, so I'm gonna just start showing earrings even if there's no mate, I'll set them up here. Deal, okay, I'll tell you. All right, so there's this one. And this is the one, Debbie, I went there one time and I got five jars or six jars. And then I went with my sister and we got three. The one that had that cool Southwest, if you saw that one, it was like a Southwest style pendant and there was only one earring and, but it was like Onyx or something. My sister took it, <laughs> I gave it to her. But it is that one, so there's been good stuff in the jars. 
So there's this really cool earring. I like that brushed gold look. So I'm gonna set it to the side and see if I find the mate. I don't see a mark on this one. And then there's these. this one, this is a cool earring, kind of like a chain. Okay, I got a message over there. So, and then next up, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't mind if my competitors know and getting my keys now. Was that you that messaged me, Debbie? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. Okay, I love this bangle. This one might be one that I have to keep because it's so pretty. I love that engraved look. I know there's another word for that where it's like a pressed metal, but I can't think of the word for it right now. But it's really pretty and I like it a lot. So I'm checking it. Um, I keep with me my magnet. Uh, this is not my normal gold magnet. And I have my loop. But Patty says, come pick me up. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Okay, so yeah, I don't I don't really think this is, you know, I know it's not gold, but it's really pretty. So I'll set that to the side because that's probably gonna just stay right here with me. We've got another little gold colored bangle, like so. A silver hoop, probably silver tone. I'll set that to the side. Embossed, yes, yes. And then there's another word for embossed, right? Um, roundabout there that it's um where it's like yeah, there's the etch, there's embossed, and then there's one where it's like pressed. It's different. It's There's another word that I'm thinking of that I can't think of. I'm thinking of, but I can't think of. Does that make sense? All right, look at this watch. Look at how adorable it is. It's a little heart, and it's on this T90 little pink strap, kind of like a dusty rose or a dirty one or the other. Hey, hey there in the chat. And then it's got a logo in there. I can't really make it out. It looks like a little robot. Um, oh, he thought the plastic handles were too. Suggestions for a kit. Someone just getting started into jewelry. Good. Oh, this is Jennifer Lopez. J-Lo. Um, Jennifer Lopez. I've never come across a Jennifer Lopez watch, but it's really cute. Um, what I would suggest if you're just getting started is for sure to get a good magnet. Um, this one is because my regular magnet is lost, but this is a piece of like hematite. And then a jeweler's loop. So these are two of the go-to things. Once you really start getting into it, um, if you're wanting to test gold and silver, if you're finding that, that out at <clears throat> garage sales and stuff, and you don't want to take it to the jewel, the jewelry, the gold tester, places that buy the gold will test it for you. If you don't want to take a trip over there, then a gold testing kit at home. Like it's an acid testing kit, so you have to, there's safety involved, but well, that's broken. Um, but we can fix it easily. Look at that. That's one gay. But it's got this loop. Pretty easy to fix. I can pop that back on and there we go. It's fixed. Ha ha. So that is unusual. But kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here too. Yay. All right. This one's fun. Look at this one. So this has got this like blue, purpley, big old gem. So I mean, it's plastic, but come on. Isn't that fun? I like that. It's a good shape too. It's in good shape. Okay, next up. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> these I will sell. I will sell the you know what out of these. Because look, okay, they're wooden and then they they're circles and they got these triangle shapes, but there are people that really like this like tribal look and or like vegan jewelry. Look, it just blends right in with my hair. But somebody else would look really good with those. So those will for sure get sold. Those are awesome. All right, I'm so glad. Okay, and I've had these before too, these bracelets. I forget, I think, is Pancake trying to eat your food? Sorry. Um, it's one of these stretchy charm bracelets that you put the little tiles in. This one's got a cross on it. Let's see if I can find the name in there. There's a name to it, and I can't remember. I don't see it in there. Anyway, but this is pretty cute. I like that. I like it, but I don't see, yeah, I don't see any marks, so I can't remember. This is not, meh, meh. I'm weird about this, like, hang on, it's tangled real fast and I'll show you if I can get this thing off. And now my head itches and I don't wanna touch it. But I'm gonna touch it, it itches. I don't know if it's certain things that just make my head itch. What is going on? Where are you going? What are you doing? I think this is all one piece. This is kind of reminds me of, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I think it's a pin so I can take it off like heavens. So this is a big long necklace thing that, and I think necklace thing is the is the technical term for that. 
<laughs> and the road did it go? Where's that? Okay. Anyway, it's a big hot mess right now of tangles. But this right here, these lacy, like fluffy pins, it, it'll come off. It, it, it's, um, just gross me out. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the texture of them, but that like that it's like dirty lace, right? That like soft, dirty lace feel. Yeah, grody. I don't like that. I, it's almost as bad as feathers. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this will probably go into like a lot for me unless I see an amazing maker's name on it. 20s look. I mean, it's got really pretty beads and stuff. The rest of it looks pretty, kind of. And then this, like, no, I don't like that. No. Okay, so that'll go into a lot. <laughs> She's similar to bonus hair, that's for sure. We haven't found any bonus hair yet. Yet. All right, we've got another. Now, if this earrings mate is in there, they're kind of fun. I would normally, if it was just these type of plasticky, what are those, like fish hook things? I might not try to sell them, but I like the top part that, what is that, like a mother of pearl look up there on that? Okay, that shell. Okay. <laughs> You're cracking me up in the chat. Um, <clears throat> all right, next up. Again, I'm just showing the earrings as I find them instead of waiting to find the mates because it'll be more streamlined that way. Okay, next necklace. This is funky. Really abstract. Oh, what did we wait? We were waiting for it. Bonus hair. There it is. Your favorite and mine. Bonus hairs. Yeah. We'll just put that over there. I'll save that for later. <laughs> But this is in pretty good shape. It's got these leather straps, which look really good. And let's see if I see a maker's mark. That is Chico's. And there are people, right, Murphy? Um, there are people that love Chico stuff. And and this one is in really nice shape. So I will for sure sell that. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I putting this? Okay. I didn't get a tub to dump these in. Um, hello. Hello in the chat. Hello. Hello. What is the magnet for, um, Rob says. So the magnet... Let me show you this real quick. Stretchy plastic bracelet. This will probably go into a lot, even though it's really cute. If I had a cost, like a flappers type costume, that might be good with that. So the magnet, <clears throat> let's say I have a piece that I think might be silver, like sterling silver or gold. Then I'll have my magnet handy to see if it's attracted to the magnet. Let me find one that I know is not. So here I've got this. And let's say for some reason I think, ooh, I wonder if this is really gold. Um, so if I do like this <clears throat> and it attracts to my magnet, I know automatically that it's not going to be gold. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that just sort of narrows things down. It doesn't mean it's not sellable if I find the other mate and I like them and they look cool. But it, it kind of leans me in the right direction. Now, some things I know this is not really gold. It's not magnetic. But... If I were just starting out, I would want to, you know, double check things, you know, because <coughs> I have some, something in my throat. Sorry if I keep clearing my throat. All right. So here's this bracelet. It's on a stretchy, elasticy band. I don't normally sell stuff that's on this because that elastic, it's like sprung like, and then it's all like floppy and I'm saying like a lot, apparently. Um, can you show us the mark for the Chico's necklace? Absolutely. Here it is. Um, this one says Chico's. And most of the ones I find say Chico's. Sometimes you'll see one that's got like a big C, and that's Charming Charlie. Chico's. And if you're in jewelry lovers and sellers, we've got a thread. We've got a spot where we're keeping up with different marks and things. And then if you're not sure, just pop it in there. Nobody's going to make you feel bad. Now, if you pop in one that looks like this and go, hey, guys, can you help me identify this mark? And it, it says Chico's on it. <clears throat> You might get some funny looks, but <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Where do we try not to make anyone feel bad? There are no stupid questions. Bought a jewelry jar the other day. So many 80s earrings. Oh, cool. You have one that, okay, yeah. If you're in <clears throat> jewelry levers and sellers, drop it in there and we'll let you know. Because there's Charming Charlie and there's, there's another one that starts with a C. What is it? I can't think of it. Claire's. I think. All right, so look at this one. So when I'm looking at this one, I'm like, oh, maybe silver. Maybe. It's got some tarnish to it. I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of cool. It's like a snaky type chain. And then these weird 
barrels, barrel bead things. So let's see what the magnet, is it magnetic? It's not magnetic, so then I'm gonna look a little closer at the clasps and stuff to see what I see, to see if I see it, if it's like rubbed off. Hmm, I don't think it's silver. Uh, I think it was like coated and now it's just this under, no. Yeah, so no. But anyway, it's cool. I may hang on to it and look at it a little bit closer because it's different. Anyway, okay. Off we go. Uh, Claire's filed for bankruptcy yesterday. <gasps> Is that right? We need to get over there and get stuff. If they're going to clearance everything out. They filed for bankruptcy. Does that mean they're, I guess it doesn't necessarily mean they're closing their stores. Wow. I'm surprised because Claire's gets a lot of business. <clears throat> All right, next. We have got a clip-on earring with like these hearts and these loops. I wonder if the loops belong. They don't look like they belong. Maybe. You can see they might come off. I'll, I'll see if the mate's in there. It's interesting. Anyway. Okay, silver plated. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the orange bracelet. Look, isn't it fun? And the thing is, I don't see a whole lot of orange stuff like this. And I had a girlfriend, I guess I have a girlfriend, who loves like safety orange. Like this would be right up her alley because she loves that bright colors. You see her coming from a million miles away. <laughs> okay, now this one is pretty. It's got these little chips of probably, oh, there's like a little, like little quartz agates and... That looks like a little amethyst chip right there. One random purple one, really? Oh, there's another. Oh, those are nice. So I like to find stuff that's natural stone because there are people that really like that. Um, and then these ones are just plastic, but they're fun. So that I'll sell. Again, with the orange, that creamy, creamy orange. You guys okay? Okay, cool. And I think this was an earring. I think they have that these beads that are plastic, but they look like cinnabar. If you know what cinnabar is, it looks like that. But yeah, ooh, aren't they pretty? They, yeah, they look like um, what was I gonna say? They look like sherbet, almost to me, right? Orange is the best, Maury says. Yeah. Okay, then we've got another bangle like so. Here's the mate to that earring. I never did look close at it to see if it was silver. I don't think it's really like sterling silver. Nope. It's, if you'll see, ah, well, if you can see me drop it, um, it was, well, I thought it was being pulled. Maybe I was pushing it. Hang on. Let me put it on the table. Gravity is working against me. Yeah, it's, it pulled across the table. You can see it pulled across my hand. So not sterling silver. That I've had an earring. You know what? Because I got this jar when I got the other jars. So, and that's, that's another thing, too. When you get a jar... Keep in mind, if there are multiple jars there, you could have an earring in one jar and the mates in the other jar. So I know I've had this earring before because I remember this inlaid gold disc thing. So I am almost positive I have the mate from the other jar. <clears throat> so you will try to sell the orange. Oh yeah, I'll try to sell it. I mean, do I think I'm gonna get 50 bucks? No, but I'll probably, I'll probably get, I don't know, I'll probably put it up for 10 or 12 bucks. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to Google it and see, or not Google it, but you know, just do a little searching. But yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I may be dreaming on getting that prize, but I'm gonna. That's my my off the top of my head. What I'll probably put on it, unless I have others <clears throat> similar, then I would lot them up. Maybe I'm not. I'm not a big fan of making bundles and lots, but that's just me. Okay, here we've got a bracelet that says zombie on it. One of my boys will probably claim it because they're into that stuff. So we'll just set that to the side. How's my brush work? <laughs> it's pitiful. I've put one thing up there. I just don't have time, especially now with everything. Maybe later I'll, I'll be able to get into it more and just uh, put jewelry. I think I only have one thing up there. Okay, so here's this really cute... Um, little cuff bangle with two crosses on it and you can see I thought I saw it was kind of rubbing off but maybe it's just a reflection of something else I need to look at it closer and see if I'm reflecting or if it's really yeah you can see where the silver plating I mind my nails I did it myself 
All right. I did my big girl nails myself. Okay. You can see where it's kind of rubbing off and you can see like the copper metally color underneath. Um, so that'll probably end up in a lot because of that. Even though it's cute, you can see where it's rubbing off. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'd probably try to sell it. Here we've got another natural stone, like little chips. Hang on. Come on now. It's tangled up. And I think the lighting is not amazing in here. Let me see what I think this is. I'll hold it up to you and see if I can figure it out better. Ooh, it looks like goldstone. You see that? At first I thought it was tiger's eye. Okay, see? A little closer. Looks like we've got some gold stone. You see that? Cool. I've never come across a necklace like this where it was presented in this way. I may have to look into this because that, yeah. Do you see how it's like that gold color and it's all sparkly? Isn't it pretty? That was not what I expected when I held it up to the light. Pretty. Pretty. You feel like such a team when your nail polish starts to look bad. I was just proud of myself. I did it. I did it myself. <laughs> I didn't go to the salon. <laughs> um, okay, then I've got some tangles happening here. We may have to just, nope, I'm not giving up. Don't give up. You've got this. We've got another zombie, I love zombies bracelet. Right here, I'm going to put it with the other one. The boys can fight over that. Luckily, my boys aren't too picky about pink. Aha, magnets. So this has got, it's a broken necklace that had a magnetic closure, maybe. But it's got this kind of closure too, so. I don't know what's happening there. You're right, exactly, Debbie. And I think I only put on one coat. Maybe that was my problem. Or and I didn't put on like a over overcoat. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Ha! Huh. <laughs> it's early for that, Margaret. Wow. Okay. Sing along. This, I think, is body jewelry, which I'm, look, it's crusty. Oh, gosh. I'm like, okay. Just don't, just, just don't. Just keep moving. Don't think about it just yet. Hey, wash your hands. If you see me try to scratch my nose or put my fingers in my mouth, yell at me to stop. <laughs> Who is it that always tells me? To keep baby wipes close close at hand. I may have to holler for the boys to go get the baby wipes. Okay, so we've got another little bracelet. This is cute. Is it missing any stones? Are they stones or are they just pressed? Because sometimes they'll press the metal. Yeah, it's just pressed. Where they'll do this thing with a little tool where they'll like crimp the metal to make it look like it's got stones in there, but there's not really any stones. So this is what's going on with this one. It looks really shimmery and like there's something in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's not any stones. It's just crimped, crimped metal. And I know there's a word for it. And I, I can't remember what the word for it is. But again, not silver for real. Let's see. Better than putting your finger in your nose, right? Okay, then we've got another one of these I'm not touching. And a long, cool necklace with different kinds of chains on it. It's nice. It'll probably still end up in a lot though, because it's kind of like, meh, it's okay. Ooh, I see something really pretty. All right, we've got a green earring, like so, which would look good with my hair, but I don't know that I'll keep it. The lots you create, do you list them as jewelry lots, craft lots, say broken pieces, etc.? It depends on what I have in it. Um, there, ha I have done some that were just like random broken stuff. I haven't done a ton of lots. Um, there are some people in jewelry lovers and sellers who were just like, they are my go-to when I want to find out about lots. Um, but I have done some that are wearable bracelets. I have some that are, um, I do like a mystery box in my Etsy store where you get 20 something pieces and they're supposed, you know, not broken pieces. Okay, so this, look at this brooch. It is so cool. It's totally like mid-century modern looking. Oh, it's brooch and pendant. That's really nice. And I'm surprised it's not marked because it's super awesome. That is super cool. This jar is half gross things and half things that look good enough to eat other things. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Brandy says, when you find a magnetic clasp and the spring clasp in the same, it's for adjusting the size. Oh, thanks. Okay, I did not know that. 
Now I do. There we go. I'm going to just put that. The V pin clasp is a good sign right there. Like that is what Murphy says. Okay. So I'm going to set it down here. It is not magnetic, but there's no markings on it either. I'm going to look it over. I don't, I just from the feel of it, it doesn't really feel like it's gold, but another thing I like to look for is like when the bar, like this is true on earrings as well. And it's not always the case, but like I'll see that the bar or if it's the backing of an earring, if it's gold as well, usually it's a nicer sign. But I'm going to look at it a little bit closer. Again, I don't see any marks. But I also don't see any like rubbing off. I don't know. It doesn't feel like gold to me. If that can be a thing, it can be a thing. And then looking at the tip part too. So you want to look at the parts that are rubbing against each other to see if there's anything that like scratches off, like a coating that scratches off. I don't see anything. I'm going to set it to the side. Again, I don't, I don't really think it's gold because it's one not marked and two but it's awesome like one more look is that it's not upside down no that's good okay that's going to the side there okay next but you know this was the same um one that my sister found those kendra scott earrings and i found that gold necklace with that cross on it from one of the last jars so it's not completely impossible they don't they're not checking their stuff very carefully Okay, what are the stones in that brooch? Okay, I'll look at it again. This one is pretty. Looks like maybe just um, homemade on the beading and stuff. The stones, I mean, the way the stones are set, they're not gonna be like real. I, I mean, you can see they're not in there in prongs, they're glued in, you can see it. You know, that's the thing, they're glued in. So probably not looking at, and I'm, you can kind of, I like to look at the backing of the stones, but you can't really look because of the, the petals or whatever that are blocking them. But it looks like they're foil, foiled. I mean, you can't really see. There's a little bitty opening where you can kind of see where it's poking out. Anyway, it's cool anyway. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, oh, I saw something about that. Okay, let me go back up because I'm missing stuff. Slow down, Margaret. You're missing some questions. Do, 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 do. Silver is very flexible, has a certain sound to it. Yes. Um, am I bringing Elaine to Dallas? No, she's got to go home. She's still here because my dad's still getting his knee put back together. Um, Let's see, you collect jewelry, you collect jewelry jars too. Yeah, I, I either recycle them or I redonate them um, on that one. You've had that happen with one jar and uh, one earring in each jar. And do I clean my jewelry? And if so, with what? I generally, I just lightly clean it with like a warm, like damp cloth, depending on what it is, um, just to make it not feel yucky. And then I'll put in the listing like lightly cleaned. If it's silver, I generally leave the tarnish on unless it's super black and gross. Then I'll polish it up just enough to kind of get a better idea of the piece because some people really like the tarnish. If you weren't going to give them to your to my boys, would I put them? Yeah, I would just put them in a lot or maybe even redonate them. They're just kind of like, yeah, you know. Um, real fast trying to get back through those. I know. Uh, in your Etsy box lot, it's a mix of vintage and modern. Does it have to be all? I try to make it all vintage stuff because on Etsy, it's supposed to be all vintage. If it's a supply, though, you can put it as a, um, a, a, a on Etsy, too. So I would like to know the name of the crimped metal. Yeah, I know there's another name for it. I can't think of what it is. My aunt told me one time. We were looking at some jewelry and she told me. And then I asked her about it again. What was the name of that crimped metal? She's like, I don't know what the name is for that. I'm like, you told me before. What is the other name for crimped jewelry? Yeah. Not hammered. That's something different. Yeah. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
I just read lemon and baking soda. I haven't. I'm I'm really careful because I I want to make sure nothing I do is gonna hurt it. Compress. Okay. Okay. All right. So next up we've got this bangle. Um, it's supposed to give off. Oh, thank you. That's a really pretty one. That little. I like that a lot. I like bangles a lot. So. You know, that one is magnetic for sure. Always afraid to buy jewelry jars. They told me this stuff didn't sell. Well, it depends on what you get. Yeah, in the jar. I've sold stuff from jars for sure. Just find something. Make sure you see some, something in the jar that will make your money back. And then, because I do, if I don't see anything in there that will make my money back, I don't buy it. And it's hard because I'm a, apparently I'm a gambler at heart. And I will always think, but what if? <laughs> what if there's that one thing hidden in there? So look at this one, isn't this pretty? Really pretty, and I don't see any missing stones so far. That's really pretty. So that will have a sell. The chain, let me see if I like it or don't like it. I think it's supposed to look that way. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look that way. So it's not just dirty, it's supposed to look that way. Yeah, that will sell. I don't see a name or a mark on it, but it's pretty enough, yeah. Isn't that nice, that green flowers? Um, how can you tell if you have some genuine, genuine valuable stones? Well, first I would wanna see if it was, and again, I'm not an expert. I see something promising right here. Um, but one, it has most generally be on, you know, a finer metal, gold or silver. Look at these Aurora Borealis pretty, pretty beads. Aren't those pretty? Um, that would be my first thing. And then second, a lot of times, not always, on the backings of, of stones, if they're set, if they're real stones like this, like, oh, yeah, I know this is not going to be real diamonds. You flip it over, and it's like this metal on the back instead of the stone showing through to catch the light and stuff. So, like, that would be another clue. But then, you know, they put open backings on, you know, lab created and crystals and stuff as well. They're just like things that narrow it down. And I know there are people that know or claim to know, <laughs> like at, at first glance, if something is or isn't real. Um, and maybe they can, but I don't know. I'm not there. So this, when I see a little, a necklace like so, a chain, and then it's got a, what looks like an old fashioned razor blade to me, but rounded like an oval. <laughs> That usually indicates to me that I'm going to take a closer look because it's probably marked on there. That yeah, I'm guessing silver. So this one 925 Italy, and then it says TJT, which and then this is another thing too. In in the group, sometimes I'll see you know people sharing something like this, and they want to find out like is that TJT a maker that would make this more valuable? I you know. I don't spend too, too much time worrying about that, unless it's something I think is going to really be good. I'm hesitant on this one, though. Even though it's marked, the spring is, it, you can see where the, the coating is coming off of it. So I'm gonna check it. Okay, the chain part seems okay. Yeah, because I mean, things can be marked that aren't real, too. So I think I've got a little silver chain here. Very nice. It's marked and everything. Um, baby shampoo. I'll just make sure whenever you're cleaning, like Google it, because certain things can't like can't use certain cleaners or yeah. Oh, here's that other half of the magnet. There it is. Okay, then we've got this ah, another silver chain, and I just kind of keep these to the side. Because sometimes I come across pendants that are not, like this one isn't silver, I don't think. Um, but I'll keep it to the side. So if I find a cool pendant that isn't really silver, fine. But I need a necklace to put it on, well, I've got one now. Same thing with this silver one. Let's say I find a nice silver pendant I, and I need a silver chain to when I go to sell it. Now I've got one. Yeah. Oh, uh, Thanks. Let's see. Murphy the Esky says it would be a good video series now and then. Tips on how to spot valuables in the wild. Remember if you're talking about it, but maybe not. Yeah, I might. I might have to. Um. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, next, some more little bangles. We're getting there. This is pretty. Okay, there is this bracelet. And it's got this sticker on the back, which I don't know what it is. It's like a little cute sticker. It looks like it's cut. Do I want to peel it up? I mean, I see a little mark underneath. I don't know. It's cute. I bet it's a Claire's. I bet it's Claire's. I bet it's E Claire's. No, I want a Claire's. Thanks a lot, Margaret. Um, hey, Vicky, how's it going? Okay. What are what have we here? What are? Oh, it's a cool and barrette. I think. I think this is a barrette. So we've got this. And then we've got this patent something, something, something. And I think, is it a barrette? What is this? Um, that, it's got little notches. How does that work? I guess you wrap your hair around it and then you notch it, latch it on there. Maybe you poke, poke, maybe you do your hair and you pokey this part through. Once you got your hair in there, this part swings around and you can make it as tight or as not as you want, I guess. That's interesting. What is that? What does it say? I think there's a website there. Flexiate. Is that right? Flexiate.com? That's weird. Flex18? www.flex18.com? Okay, I'll have to look that up. That's a new one for me. That's new. All right, we've got another one of these with the purple, with the string. Can, okay. Can you call anything that's not a genuine stone a rhinestone? I don't know. Because some, some things are like crystals or some things are plastic, some things are glass. Um, that would be a good thing to talk about, I guess. It just depends. Yeah. All right, we've got half of a best friend necklace here. I wonder if the other half's in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing. <laughs> Never deal. I'm just gonna say this is what I saw in the back, and I was like, uh, yes, please. Can I just say that I am getting this cameo video ready? So it is very fortuitous that this popped up when it did. Sorry, I got really excited because I'll tell you why. I saw the back of it and I could see, if you can see, and when I talk about cameos, I know, right, Debbie? <laughs> Where's Cindy? <laughs> um, I could see when it's like the shell cameos, the back is not going to be flat. It's, it's going to have um, curvatures and stuff because it's, fr it's from a shell. So not all cameos. We're going to talk about cameos later. And so you can see there. That and you, and then also here you can see where it's set. You can see where it's set and it's got different levels of metal to kind of form with the shell, you know, like so. You can see it's not like a uniform like cut like setting. Oh my goodness! So here she is, and then the like I can see through when I'm holding it up. I know you can't because the light's on the other side, but I can see through. You can kind of make out. Her, her outline through there. And you can see where the tools have kind of scraped on there away at the shell. You can still see bits of it over here. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect timing, right? We've been talking about cameos in the group. Cindy's been posting tons of stuff. <gasps> no way. Because it was like in the center. Oh my gosh. This is why when I bought, don't buy jars, this is what I think is hiding in the middle that I can't see, right? <clears throat> okay. Now, do I see any marks on it or anything? I mean, the metal doesn't look that great. That's the only thing. But it could, uh -huh, 800. And I don't know, can you see the 800 right there? I don't know all my number marks, okay? I was just looking this up yesterday. Um, so 800 is, I know somebody in the chat's probably going to holler it out at me before I can look it up. <clears throat> I know 825 is 14K, 800 is silver, right? Yeah, 800 metal, it's silver, is that what y'all are telling me? Isn't it silver? 
because five something else, <laughs> I can't keep them all straight, and I'm not ashamed to tell you. Um, 800 Danish silver. Okay, okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure 800 silver. So, yeah, it probably had like a gold wash on it. Um, because it's kind of got a gold and it's oh, kill, 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 kill. We'll just slip that right there. Okay, that'll go for my video in a little bit. Lower, lower grade than sterling, yeah, but still cool and vintage. Yeah, okay, we'll just leave that to the side right there. Mom, I found a really pretty cameo in the jar. What? Oh, is, Mom, is Mama May still over there? Yeah, oh, okay, so I got a nice. I don't know what I was pulling out when I saw the cameo in there. <laughs> I want the cameo, Sherry says. I'm I'm told because normally my cameos have either have been going to Maggie, Maggie Doodle. Y'all probably see her. Um, and I know Cindy collects them as well. But I'm just like, well, I've got some in the other room. Um, yeah. I'm like, do I need to start collecting them? I don't know. I don't wear them. I just like them, but I always send them away to other people. All right, so we've got this silver, silver puffy heart. Now this is one that's like I would probably turn um, clean up a little bit because you can see where it's like black right there. So I'd probably clean that up. Hopefully the mate is in here for this one. I know. Okay, and it was like in the center. There was no peeking at that in there. All right, here's a cute little. There's that little turtle. That's cute in there, and it is mark. It's marked 14K, but my gut's telling me it's not. Here's why I see his foot. Okay. It's marked 14K, but I don't think he really is. He's not magnetic. <laughs> We're going to take a look at him and see what we think. One, he's not, it's not stamped 14K. So there's, it's not stamped 14K. It's kind of like raised, like it was in the mold like that and then also you see on his little foot where the gold is rubbed off and you can see the metal underneath he's so cute but yeah he's not magnetic but he, he, yeah but that's a good example of things being marked one thing that probably are not really what they claim to be so test it yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna test it but it's a good you know i mean that might be a good video just to say hey look here's this thing it's marked 14k let's let's put it to the test you are a liar you little turtle <laughs> you you sleep in a bed of lies we'll put you over there <laughs> yeah i think he's lying <laughs> I call BS on him. But we'll see. We'll do how about that? We'll call him a liar in a video. We'll prove it. Look at this. This is a crazy, wild, fun necklace that will totally sell. Especially, I mean, you know what it reminds me of? Like I because Black Panther just came out. I could it's like kind of got that tribal look to it. It's really cool. The beadwork is really nice. It's that's nice. Okay. my dad well we'll call him back in just a second hey mom yes. that was michael calling is he trying to get a hold of you yes. so that that was michael just trying to call me can you check on him and see if he's okay <coughs> yes i call my dad by his first name <laughs> long story <laughs> okay next up is this really pretty turquoisey color beads and it sounds good too <laughs> if i was doing an asmr asmr anyway clicky sounds but it's got a nice clasp it's all still complete in nice shape so that will get sold next love the color okay oh i'm missing the chat got a cameo stick pin today yay uh, bought a bottle of jewelry cleaner, top purple sable. Oh, ooh, it's even safe on opals. Ooh, interesting. Okay, um, need to add, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put it in there. Could be plated with 14K. Okay, <laughs> total's ex 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 
Elaine and I were watching some. There are some weird ones out there. Okay, no judgment if you're into that, but there are some that was just like, what? It was like a guy in the grocery, like acting out being in the grocery store, like working, like, I'm really late for my shift. <laughs> like on a green screen. Anyway, okay, so here's this really cute necklace with this butterfly. Um, I guess I'd try to list this. I'm gonna check this chain out. I mean, the chain looks like it's silver. I don't see any marks, so maybe not. It's not magnetic, but possibly. So that's cute. It's a cute little thing. Okay, almost. We're almost there, you guys. Here's another nice little brooch. It doesn't look like it's missing any little pearls. So that's nice. I don't see any maker's marks. Is that marked MC, the butterfly? Let me see. I don't see any marks on it. What does MC stand for? Is it something I should know? I'm gonna look one more time. Mm, I'm looking on the loop part. No, I don't see an MC on there. Okay, so this one, little vintage, you know, faux pearl. That's, uh, are there's, no. No, I don't see any missing pearls. Oh yeah, that's my mom. I think it's just acid reflex. Mom, they're asking if you're okay. They're asking if you're okay because they can hear you coughing. Oh, yes. Allergies. Pollen. Allergies and pollen. We've got, a, I mean, my car is coated in yellow, y'all. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Are you, are you upset I wasn't checking on her? <laughs> Cough away, woman. No, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, oh, no. Okay, so look at this necklace. So here's the clasp. This is one of those, like, asymmetrical type necklaces. Where it would like hang weird like this kind of deal, you know? Because it's like so. That's pretty though. And it doesn't appear to be missing any stones. Ooh, or does it? Oh, no, no, those are there. Okay. Woo! That's pretty. Okay, cool. What helps you determine if something is vintage? Um, for me, woo, I got another one. Okay, this is a good example. All right, so here we've got this little micro mosaic. Huh? Uh brooch that's in here so one this is going to be considered vintage one because of the way it's made two the clasp is a mate well now that i'm looking at the clasp maybe not because it looks like a bobby pin or safety pin but it look you know like c clasps are like that on brooches so the way the clasps are the way it's set like this just the setting of it the way it's made after you've been doing it for a bit, I know, and I know there's reproduction stuff, right? Huh? Isn't that cute? It just depends. And knowing, you know, the more the more you do it, and again, I'm not, I'm, you know, I don't think these are body jewelry after all. I think these are wine, because there's a few of them in here. There's been like a few different ones. So I think these may be like the wine markers, and they have different flowers. Cool. Here's the mate for that earring. Some of these didn't have mates on the earrings. Ooh, you're pretty too. Clank. But this one is totally faux, but fun, right? So it's got this weird looking plastic stone. You know, flip it around, you can see it's just kind of glued on. Make sure. Definitely a wine charm. Okay, good. Maybe it wasn't stuck through somebody's belly button after all. All right, here, are, the mate was there somewhere. Where did it go? But that jingle bell sounds horrible. I would never all day long. I couldn't wear that. Huh. Okay, but I don't have to wear it. Somebody might want to buy it and wear it. Um, what, there's, it's calling her now. Okay, and then, ooh, oh, look at, we got like this little teeny opal. Is it, or a faux opal? I'm trying to see what I think. Isn't it pretty? Okay. No, it's changing colors and stuff. You can see it. All right, I'll have to look at it closer and see if the mate is in. I feel like we saw this, though. I feel like my sister and I saw one like this. All right, let me look at this part here. I don't know, though. I'm going to have to see because there's no, like, it's like this on the back. So that makes me think that it's not real. Okay. I don't know, but I can see the movement in there. You know, when you have opals where it's kind of like got that 
iridescent look. I'm sure there's a different word for it when it comes to opals. But that's the jar. There's like three more ear little earrings with no mates down there. That's it. So the big winner was our cameo. And our big liar, probably, <laughs> is the turtle. You lie. Okay, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure though that it's lying. Okay, you guys, I've got stuff all over my computer keyboard now. So you're gonna have to hang out with me until I get it off because I can't hang up with all this stuff all over my keyboard. You okay over there? I'm almost done. You're doing great. And the micro mosaic is awesome too. I know it was a big jar. $19.99. And I'm hoping that some of the earring mates are in the other jar. I'm pretty sure they are. This one too. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this aside to take a double look at as well. So mid-century modern, super cool. But yeah, that's coming to the side for me to do a double check on. Like so. Okay. Oh, I'm missing something. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell my mom to take some. I'll, I'll tell her. I'll, she doesn't listen to me. She doesn't listen to me. Okay. I'll fuss at her though. Um, yeah, so go down there, guys, and um, hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you found any cool jars or jewelry lately. What was your favorite thing from the jar today? And if you haven't, go join us on Facebook at Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.